Alright guys, this is Steve and welcome to another episode of ESO Somerset. Um, in the last episode we arrived in the Somerset Isles and found that uh, a lot of newcomers were being quite literally arrested um, and being locked up. Uh, we found out that they were being locked up in a in a monastery. So, we are going to go in and um, not break into a monastery basically. But first, I have a notification to look at. New Daily Award. I've got some crown packets to open, so... Yeah. Claim that. And let's get into the crown crates and see what I've got. Bakruti would like to remind you that tips are appreciated. It is far easier for a mammoth to pass through the eye of a needle if it is slightly greased, yes? Okay, I've got Sigit Vault Crate and Flame Match Not Crate. Um, I believe I got these crates as part of... <laughs> As part of something where you had to battle little bosses and stuff. I forget what it was called, but either way, let's open this Sigit. An first. excellent selection. Choose a reward. Uh, poison. selection. Once more, my good friend? Uh, open up the flame at the mm. right. Are you ready to reveal your rewards? Yes, let's reveal all. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Mask. Okay. Which crate do you choose? That one, that one there. Your rewards are ready. Another go round, my friend. Uncover your rewards to collect them. Some rewards are better than others, and some are so valuable they make Pakruti's claws tingle. An excellent selection. Make a selection to reveal your rewards. First rate! Shall we try again? Take your pick of a remaining crate. An excellent selection. Select your rewards, my friend. Will you try again? This could be your lucky day. Pocket Mammoth. Got a tea beverage, two tea beverages. Well, that's a rip off. Oh. An excellent selection. Choose a reward. Uninspired, but admirable. There are no crates remaining. Purchase more if you wish to try your luck again. Oh, coast enfeebling poison. <laughs> Do not be sad, my friend. There are always additional crates available. Goodbye, my friend. Right, let's have a look at what I got. Ah. Uh. Ah, 
Pocket Mammoth. See what this fire veil hat does. Seriously? Go away. Uh, looks like a sand person from uh, Star Wars. <laughs> Okay, so that's everything I've gone through so far. Now let's actually get on with what I'm supposed to be doing. But I've got to do it on a panther or a singe cat. Sage cat? Singe cat? Whatever it is. I have no idea what that was, and I'm not sure I want to know. Well, where you go then? Sentry! Raz owes you for that game of cards, and has come to pay. Well, I don't recall any... Uh, you say I won some gold? Don't you remember? Raz always pays his debts, and he always buys the drinks. Gold and drinks? Well, my relief should be along soon, so why not? And that's how you distract the guards. Okay, so we've snuck in. over here. List of sequestered guests. What else? Four males, three females, all claim to be Dominion citizens. One says she's lived in Somerset for more than a year. Move to preparation cells. Khajiit, seven males, nine females, all claim to be Dominion citizens. Send half to the preparation cells, the other half to the holding cells. Sounds just like a prison. Argonians, four, gender inconclusive. <laughs> Who can tell with, <laughs> with luck swimmers? Move to preparation cells for immediate siphoning. The hell's that? Threatens one male, two females. Claim to be traders from Wayrest. Or did they say Daggerfall? Does it even matter? Why am I writing all this down? What does the new All Dark plan to do with this information? Place and holding cells. So they don't actually care then about who they got, they're just locking them up for nothing. Red guards, two males, four females, all arrived on a ship from Hammerfell. One says she was sent for by Rani Ranul, the trader. 
I'm really going to have to learn to pronounce half these names. Send half to holding and the other half to preparation. Nords, one male, claims to be part of something called the Nord Cultural Exchange. Send to holding. Okay, so they just appear to be randomly picking up anyone that isn't a high elf. So over here. Kin Lady's letter. My dear Olga Tel Tilkala. Tilkala? Hmm. I am so glad you suggested transferring to our beloved monastery. I was happy to use my influence to make that happen especially after that insightful discussion we had concerning Queen Irene's radical and frankly, and frankly, dangerous decree. I look forward to working with you and to make sure Shimmerine and indeed all of Somerset remains safe and secure. Your plan to sequester newcomers in order to test their suitability for residency in Shimmerine is a stroke of genius. Determining who has the ability and temperament to become productive members of our society and who does not will allow us to spot troublemakers and lack like a distal transcend transience before any damage is done. It isn't a perfect solution, but it will suffice until we can urge the unforeseen queen to rescind this order and send all the Nibara, the unwelcome, back to where they came from. Send me a list of candidates you deem acceptable for life in Somerset. I'm sure proxy queen Winiwari will appreciate having documentation concerning who we permitted to stay and who we sent away. I am saying that Somerset is sacrosanct. Let Oridon deal with the other races. After all, our beloved queen spends all her time there anyway, carousing, carousing with cats and wood elves. I'm sure she'd love more company. Lady Avenison. Okay, well, she sounds like a positively wonderful person. Despite the fact I couldn't pronounce half the names. Lazy person, let's wake him up and annoy them. Boy, not a very nice person, probably. No, oh, not now, please. Your spiritual well being can wait until after my nap. Where can I find the people that have been sequestered? You'll have to ask one of the monks that the new Aldark brought with him. They deal with all the newcomer testing and evaluations. I'm just a simple monk trying to catch up on my sleep. That was a hint, by the way. What was it? Would never have guessed. Tell me about the Aldark and the new monks. Aldark Tilkala arrived right after the Queen issued her decree. He came highly recommended by King Lady Avanis, or so I heard. It's not unusual for monks to form attachments and move together, but there's something strange about that bunch. Strange? What do you mean? The old orc and his monks keep to themselves. They've taken the Undercroft for their own purposes and ordered the rest of us to avoid the ancient vaults beneath the monastery. Now, please, let me get back to my nap. Sounds like there's something going on below the monastery. 
Anything else I should know about this monastery of yours? The monastery should be a place of peace and meditation. Should be. The Aldoc has closed us down until further notice. Why? That means if any of the monks spot you, they'll raise the alarm. Me? I never saw you. Now, if you don't mind, my nap awaits. So, essentially... There is something nasty going on, and he's essentially turning a blind eye to everything. Uh, go back out the door I came in. something. The Abyssal Pearl. Unusual knick-knack for an Aldark's office, wouldn't you agree? Oh, you. Who are you? I noticed you skulking around while I was engaged in some skulking of my own. I suppose we both came to the monastery with a similar purpose in mind. And what purpose would that be? The sequestered newcomers. I came to find out what happened to a friend. I assume that's what brought you here as well? A house of worship shouldn't be used as an internment camp, and it shouldn't be locked to the public either. I saw a pearl like that. There were strange creatures nearby. Interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. I find it intriguing and a bit disturbing. But we aren't here to discuss curios. Strange creatures notwithstanding. How did you happen to get past the sentry, by the way? The sentry doesn't appear to have stopped you, so I could ask you the same question. Let's just agree that we both have our methods. Curious. But I feel that there's more going on in Shimmerin than the usual politics and community relations. What else could be going on here? That's the question, my cautious friend. We have a newly appointed Aldark and a disgruntled kin lady, both opposed to the Queen's decree. What's their connection to the missing newcomers? I was about to explore the Undercroft. Care to join me? Hmm. I'll meet you in the Undercroft. A curious pearl. I wonder where the Aldark acquired it. Probably not important. I'll meet you in the Undercroft, and we can see what's going on with the newcomers. Why do I get the feeling that the probably not important origin of this pearl is going to be the most important thing? in this whole plot. Something's wrong down here. I sense magic. Vile hey. magic. I don't know about the cages. Cages? These people did nothing to deserve such treatment. There's someone alive over there. See if you can help her. Indeed. Thank the divines! You aren't one of the monks. Please, let me out of here. Why did they lock you in a cage? It's a nightmare. We came to Somerset to seek new opportunities. 
We barely stepped off the ship when they marched us to the monastery. Instead of questioning us or the usual high elf bureaucracy, they locked us in these cages. There are only a few of you here. Where are the rest of the newcomers? The monks gathered them a few moments ago and took them through the door on the far side of the chamber. Please, let me out of here before they take me away like the others. I'll unlock the cage and see what's going on in the next chamber. He's dead. Oh, thank you for setting me free. Get this free. What have we got here? What's that? A Daedra? Here? And that's a Scoffin, if I remember my Daedric recitations correctly. Very curious. What's a dead Scoffin doing in a monastery devoted to the eight? An excellent question. Thank and you. one I hope to find the answer to. From the evidence before us, it appears this Nord killed the Scoffin before he succumbed to his own wounds. Good for him. I found this key on the creature's belt, so we can open that door. The monks, the rest of the new. Then I suggest we pick up the pace. We need to determine what's actually happening down here, and who's behind all this. Without answers to those questions, we won't be able to decide on our best course of action. What about your missing friend? I'll explain everything later. For now, we need to hurry. More newcomers? Unfortunately, the magic only affects those who have been prepared. But never fear. Your turn will come. Magic attracts these creatures. Hold them off while I complete my spell. outside. Fair enough. I don't want to stay in here too long. Okay, start talking. Oh, those poor people. This wasn't just about newcomers and opposing the Queen's decree. That was Daedric magic back there. I just wish we had arrived a few moments earlier. What happened to the Pearl? Did you destroy it? I promised to explain what I know. I suppose that now's as good a time as any. I'm a member of the Sigic Order. Our Rite Master sent me to investigate a warning we received about a plot involving Somerset. My inquiries led me here. The Sigic Order? The Sigic Order is an ancient magical monastic society. We served as advisors to the rulers of Tamriel, but that was before we removed our island home from the world. 
Now this threat has drawn us back. But why are you involved in all of this? I'm working with Razumdar, one of the Queen's eyes. But what happened to the Pearl? An eye of the Queen? Interesting. I diffused the Daedric magic and transported the Pearl to Arteum, the Sigic Island for safekeeping and study, so we can learn more about it. But we can discuss this further once we get out of here. Alright, let's go. Sure, something's going to jump out at me in a minute. Or I'm going to jump out at them. You just kneel on the ground whilst I take care of everything. find some merchants I'll be able to sell that to them. Ooh. I think I might need to uh Ah, no wonder it's almost out. Charge. There we go. Let's get out of here. On Arteum for a few centuries doesn't prepare you for physical activity. Let yeah, the Eye of the Queen it. know what we discovered, and I'll catch up with you later. We were warned that Daedric princes had their eyes on Somerset, but I didn't expect that level of danger from what was supposed to be a simple investigation. I suggest you tell the Eye of the Queen what we discovered. I'll catch up with you later. Oh well. Now, how did you get involved in this? I thought you said Arteum was sent away. We received word that there was the potential for trouble in Somerset, 
so the right master sent me to take a look. Even so, Arteum isn't a prison. We're Sigic mages. We can come and go as we like, just so long as it advances our studies. Why didn't you tell me you're a member of the Sigic Order? I did tell you. Once I ascertained, I could trust you and the time was right. When we make a rare visit back to Nern, we try to keep a low profile. Rumors about our order tend to make people uncomfortable and even nervous in our presence. I met an oracle, one of the rarests of Glenumbra. She seemed to have a connection with our tail. Ah, that would be one of the Right Master's many contacts. Another source for the warnings we received. We may have removed ourselves from the world, but we like to keep abreast of events across Tamriel and beyond. Actually, I think that was actually a reference to the, um... Kind of a freebie sort of run up to the release of Somerset, actually, which I did play at the time. Um, but yeah, with this character, actually. I uh, wish I had recorded it. <laughs> Still. Anyway, let's carry on. And what about that missing friend of yours that you mentioned? A partial truth. Easier to remember than an outright lie. Another member of our order came to Somerset a few months back. Uh -huh. We haven't heard from him, so I decided to look into both matters while I was here. Right. Unfortunately, he continues to elude me. You think he's hiding from you? No, not intentionally. We may be sages, but we're still just people. We can become restless, succumb to sorrow or frustration. My friend may have decided that life on Arteum was no longer satisfying. I just want to know he's safe. Fair enough. Let's go and talk to Razumdar. Anchors away. Hey. Well, I hope he's been doing something useful other than just staying in the pub having a drink. Or two. Or three. I wonder if slurry. Raz, tell me you've been busy. Or have you been painting? Ah, this one's new partner returns. What interesting scandal did you uncover in the monastery? Tell Raz every juicy detail. The people that were sequestered were killed to power a Daedric ritual. I found this letter. That isn't the kind of scandal Raz was hoping for. Murder, Daedric rituals, and traitorous behavior have a way of ruining an otherwise perfect day. We need to learn the extent of the Kin Lady's involvement. And by we, Raz means you. You want me to go and accuse the Kin Lady of conspiring with a Daedric cult? Accuse? Not exactly. Raz wants you to talk to her, see what she knows about the Old Dark. The Kin Lady is meeting with local leaders. Attend that meeting and learn the truth. This invitation and set of elegant clothes will get you through the door. I also met a mage from the Sigic Order in the monastery. A Sigic? Raz has heard rumors. But there are always rumors about the Sigics. For an island of sages who disappeared more than 300 years ago, they certainly seem to get around. Did this Sigic mage say what the Order was investigating? Something about a warning, and she seemed pretty interested in the life-sucking pearl. There was a life-sucking pearl? You should probably have led with that bit of information. Well, we can worry about the Sigic mage and figure out where these pearls came from later. For now, go see what the Kin Lady has to say. Shouldn't you speak to the kid lady? 
You do work for the Queen after all. Kinley the Avenis and Raz do not get along. You see, there was a horse, a platter of pudding tarts, and uh, no, no, no. This one <laughs> won't bore you with the sordid details. Besides, everyone behaves well when they see Raz. You will learn more than I would. Goodbye. And I think I shall leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this content. And subscribe if you want to see more. And until then, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.